So staking is part of the future of Ethereum that we talked about a couple of weeks ago. Staking basically uh, changes is the uh, concept of putting up tokens to help validate transactions. So let me explain what I mean by that. Today, uh, blockchains like Bitcoin and Ethereum use what's called proof of work, right? Which in, in Bitcoin, that's part of the mining process to uh, validate transactions and generate new Bitcoin. They all basically, all these computers play a game against each other. And every 10 minutes, somebody wins the game. As part of winning the game, they receive Bitcoin and deposit um, other uh, transactions into the next block. And that's how Ethereum works as well. Uh, the challenge with proof of work is it doesn't scale extremely well, right? Um, you know, it basically consumes more and more electricity over time, more and more computers. It's working, works great. It's extremely secure, uh, but it has a scalability challenge. Uh, for Ethereum, they're migrating to, instead of proof of work, they're going to be use what's called proof of stake. Proof of stake basically says anybody running an Ethereum node can become a validator. And based upon the stake that you're holding, meaning how much Ethereum, uh, you have a better chance of being randomly chosen to validate the next transaction. And in exchange for that, you're going to be given more ETH back. So effectively, that becomes an interest payment that you're receiving for staking the Ethereum. 